you don't have to follow some fashion trends, being stylist, to feel comfortable and confident in your clothing. Hi, thank you for stopping by. My name is Masha and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will share some tips and tricks that help me to understand my body shapes better and incorporate clothes that fits me the best. You don't have to follow these rules, but in my opinion, it can help you understand your body shapes and how to dress it properly. Let's jump into this video. Let's start with overview female body type. Here an overview of each female body shape. Their female body shapes include inverted triangle, rectangle, regular triangle, also referred as the pear shape, hourglass and round or apple shape. If you invert a triangle, you have broad shoulders, narrow hips, waist is not defined. The inverted triangle known for your legs. Your legs are long and lean. Your rectangle, if your body goes up and down, don't have curves and lack of waist definitions. If you are a triangle or pear shape, you have smaller top and bigger bottom. Typical peer has a narrow shoulders, small bust, small waist, wide hips, wide tights. Typical peer always gain weight first on your tights and on your butt. Tights can be your widest part of your body even if you are skinny. Hourglass, if you are hourglass, you have balanced shoulders and hips. You have a tiny waist and full hips, full bust. For some apples, your tummy can be the widest part of your body. A typical apple always gain weight first on your stomach. There is things about the apple. No matter how much weight you gain, your legs are always remain slender. Your legs are your best assets. But let's be honest, it's really hard to find the exact body type. So I don't wanna be attached to these body types. I emphasize that everybody is unique and beautiful and you don't have to lose weight or change yourself in order to feel better about your style. However, knowing your body shapes helps you to choose clothing that looks best for you. Let's start off talking about the most beautiful and common body shape. I have a wider hips, thicker ties, and I used to have a narrow shoulders. But after I incorporate workouts in my life, aerial classes, I made a little changes in my body. My body shape somewhere between a pear shape and hourglass. I tend to gain weight first in my hips, tights. In order to help me even out my proportions, I emphasize that area I love and emphasize that area that I wanna fade it. I have mastered a few tips and tricks, what I want to wear and avoid. I hope it helps you if you have the similar body. Guys, watch this video till the end and I will give you a super easy guideline to tell you if you have short waist, long waist or balanced waist. Choosing a right bottom for the pair body shape is the key to balancing your proportions. Go high on waist. The higher the waist rise, the better, as it hides a large proportion of your tummy, making your legs appear longer and your hips appear slimmer. Wide leg jeans, flare jeans, palazzo pants are wonderful for bottom heavy body. These jeans are form fitting from the waist to the tights, then begin to broaden below the knee. Flares looks exceptionally great on a pear and hourglass shape. A bigger bell that flares out and almost cover your shoes is an even better idea. Vertical stripes are excellent option for heavy bottom wear. Their strap pants can create a wonderful illusion. It creates a skimmer effect as well as also providing a sense of length. Darker colored trousers. Darker wash can always reduce heaviness. A monochrome look also looks great on a heavy bottom body. You can achieve it by wearing the same color on the top and bottom. Bootcut and flares will suit you the best. Bootcut jeans and flare jeans are the most flattering style of jeans to pair shape women. For balancing your figure is to wear bootcut and flares as well and this will do a great job of balancing your hips and giving you a flattering silhouette. Stray leg jeans 
It's great everyday options for a pair body shape. If you're ever in doubt, options for dark wash pair of straight leg jeans. The high rise fit will hug your waist and the dark wash will elegate your legs. You will also want to be aware of wear marks around your hips area, such as whiskering, distressing, weight lines, jeans in that area. Moving on, skirts can create elegated effect of your legs, reducing the weight of your lower body and giving you a more stretched appearance. In order to create this effect, optional for an airline skirt or straight skirt that are knee high length or just below the knee. Just like a pants and jeans, you wanna go for mid-rise or high-rise waisted skirts. Pleated skirts look fantastic on bottom-heavy women, especially pear-shaped women. These skirts are cinched at the waist and flow down to your hips, effectively hiding your belly bulge. However, you should pick the skirts with a smaller waistband as the large waistband can bring attention to your stomach. With the shorts, try to avoid anything in the low rise. This is going to cut off half of your hips and it's just an overall unflattering style. Instead, you want to get shorts that are more relaxed fit and something and high-waisted with a tie on the waist. So guys, this is all my tips for you. If you find these tips helpful, please comment down below or if you have a personal one, I would like to hear that. All right, guys, it's been said, I will share you that easy guideline to tell you long, short, or balanced ways do you have. This is very easy method because all you need is just your hands. Stack your hands on top of each other like this under your bust and see where your hands. If your second head completely cover your belly, then you have a short waist. If your belly bottom is actually way below that second hand, then you have a long waist. If your second hand is right there at belly bottom, then you have a balanced waist. All right, guys, so this is it for today. I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you have your personal uh, tips that you would like to share with me, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to check your waist and type it in the comments. Let me know. And I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.